So let me, let me close by uh, answering a great question that we got, which is what advice do you have to uh, young people interested in politics? And, I, I just, and I'll let everybody take a crack at this, but uh, one, I'll say a couple things. One is I'm, I'm, I, may, I, I remain hopeful, particularly when I see young people. I've been out all across the country covering the campaign. And you know, young people are, are they're, they're passionate, they're excited. They, you, know, you see these Bernie people and young people out of Trump rallies. I mean, they haven't given up, and, and I'm asking you, please don't give up, because we need you to fix this mess. Uh, <laughs> but the other thing, I mean, you, you were actually asking, you know, what specifically could I do if I want to get involved in politics? As I said, part of the problem is that there is no license or degree, but that's, part, that's actually part of the advantage, too, is that if you have an interest and a passion for politics, and this is what I did myself, and this is what I did to, uh, you know, uh, lots of, of, of folks who've come to me, and it's, it, it's worked out very well on most occasions. If, people were genuinely passionate about it, which is, if you love it, find a candidate or a cause that you believe in, show up. Just go to the NGO, go to the candidate's office, say that you will, you're there to volunteer, uh, that you'll work, and then, then go to work. Just work as long, long hours and outwork everybody out, out hustle. But one, this is not corporate America. If you've got the hustle and the smarts, campaigns are great meritocracies and, the, you know, the next thing you know, you'll be the campaign manager of the campaign. <laughs> I, you know, it, it truly is. If you've got any, you know, an ounce of talent or spark, because there's, you know, a lot of people in there that don't. And so, and, and, you, and these move quick. Like, like Russ said, you know, we're not trying to improve market share. On a date certain, we win or we lose, and we hate to go home. So uh, that, that, it's a really powerful thing. So if you're interested, show up, volunteer, and just get involved. And you'll be surprised how quickly... You, you, you kind of get on the am, uh, on ramp, you'll be doing campaigns and end up in a congressional office or a governor's office and have a great career. It's been, I've loved it. It's been a great life. I love it still. And I, I get to hang out with cool people like this. Your thoughts to young people interested? Uh, pick a discipline. You know, even if you love politics, um, you know, uh, figure out quickly what about the campaign you like the best, whether that's finance or research or field organizing. Um, uh, because it is a great way to have an impact in, in the political arena and public policy to be involved, but life will go on at some point. And you know, um, very few people make a living out of this forever. And it's, in, it's important to gain some skills uh, that you can take after, after you're done with that portion of your life. Yeah, yeah. And it, it'll burn you up. I call it a human microwave. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think, first of all, to pick up what Mark said, we need you. So it's clear we need more talented, selfless, young people to get involved in politics, to work in campaigns to run themselves. Mm -hmm. People who, who are involved in government or in politics or who secure office themselves, who then their most important thing isn't staying there. Their important thing is to actually make progress. And elections matter, okay? I know, it, particularly this election season, it seems silly and dispiriting, but everything in this country we've ever done flows from an election. So the one exception you could say is a civil war, but Abraham Lincoln's helped trigger that. Every war we fought or didn't fought, law we passed or didn't pass, tax we raised or cut, every single one flows from an election. So I remember, and I say this when I'm not here at the George Bush Presidential Center, when Democrats would complain mm -hmm. about uh, some of President Bush's agenda uh, from 2001 to 2009, he won. He gets to set the agenda. So Bobby Kennedy, um, was on was the best campaign manager in history. Also, so very inspirational. You know, said some men see things as they are and ask why, and I dream things that never were and ask why not. But he was also one of the ruthless, most ruthless political practitioners of all time, because he realized that if you didn't win, you didn't get to set the agenda. So we're a divided country, but if you feel strong about something in your city or your county or your state, work for someone that shares that beliefs because they will then get to set the agenda. Because everything we've ever done in this country flows from an election. And I think it's easy to forget that sometimes. But there's a straight line between that and everything we've ever done. Well, I would agree with all of this. And, uh, but, and also, it's, it's just it's stick with it is that you know, the first campaign that you work on or the first two campaigns or maybe six campaigns, you may not win and you may get discouraged, but the ability to keep on going back there and working on things that you believe in and, place and, and working for people that you believe in um, is really important. And I think it's really satisfying because there's, there's very few things that you can do that you realize that by your participation, you've helped change the direction of the country. And that's a really big thing. 
And you can be 16, 17 years old working in a campaign and, and work on changing the direction of the country, or you can be you know, retired and doing the same thing. It's, it's Mark said, it's a great meritocracy. So I would just, you know, if you like it, keep with it. We need you.